Welcome back to the last door. It's finally time, guys. This is chapter four, the final chapter, at least I'm pretty sure it is the final chapter, of this series. Our long adventure is finally going to conclude in this video. Everything will finally be revealed to us, loose ends will be tied up, and I can finally put this series to rest, which I should have done two years ago in retrospect, but whatever, we're still gonna do this anyway. If you didn't see the last chapter, then I highly recommend you go and watch that first before watching this video, of course. If you haven't seen the first three chapters, then I recommend you go and watch all of those before uh, playing this video. And of course, because I don't want to spoil anything, just in case you haven't played the previous chapter or have watched it, then uh, I'm not going to recap what happened in the last chapter, so you just have to see for yourself. So let's just get into this. I'm very excited to play this chapter, very excited to finally finish this series, not like I hate Hated doing this series, but it's just that I put it off for way too long. Right, so let's go. Let's begin a new game here. Yes, I already know all of this. I've seen this a million times before. There is no turning back. Especially when you just clicked on a new game. Wait, what the heck is this? Hang on, where, where am I right now? Oh wait, I'm controlling someone else. Alright, Devit? How are you doing? I've, I've made my mind. Okay. Uh, then I need to click on this. I'm ready. Okay, hang on a second. Is this is this the guy I saw at the end of the last chapter? Actually, did he did he kidnap me or something? What what is happening and why am I controlling him? Go on, do it. Uh oh, do it. Um, all right. I guess this is the initiation phase or something. Do it. Well, I'm 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 trying to. I'm I'm clicking on on things in order to make other things happen. Okay then, well, I guess we're just gonna skip the intro here, because I've seen this a million times before as well. Um, alrighty then, I have no idea what the heck even happened. Can you see all these stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower, from the last tree in the distance to the stars in the sky. And even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil that hides the world. As if it were the curtain of a theater, the veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil is a place, Devitt. A place of mists. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, what? You must find the door as I did. Alright, are they re- Well, this game's called The Last Door, so I mean... Are, are we finally gonna find the door in this chapter? The door that gives passage, passage through the veil. What in the world is happening right now? I think Devitt's having a nightmare or something. Open it, and we will walk together beyond the mist. Okay, my cursor's freaking out for some reason. I have no idea why. It's just like blinking at a million miles a minute. I suppose you're wondering why I called you so urgently. I cannot deny it. Your letter was truly mysterious. I've been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the Massacre of St. Gills? Why, yes. The tragic event has been the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things took place. I'm probably not even pronouncing that word correctly. But I don't understand how all this is connected with my patient. He was there. I'm afraid he's one of the victims. Dear God! Oh, okay, we have a bunch of options. Are you telling me my patient's been murdered? What was Devin doing there? What was the cause of these awful deaths? Uh... What was Devin doing there? Many years ago, the St. Gill's Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beechworth spent a part of their youth together there. We can assume that Herr Devitt was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. Okay, are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murdered? Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give this impression. Herr Devitt was attacked, but survived. What happened to him, then? It seems the criminal was caught by Herr Devitt in the midst of the act. Then he tried, tried to do the same thing to Devitt that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Herr Devitt was hospitalized. The nurses report that he remained unconscious for an entire day. What was the cause of those awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their faces. I suspect you did not find Mr. Devon in the hospital. 
Indeed, he was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all these circumstances? I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It's something that the Holy Sisters found beside Herr Devitt, within the coffin. An empty, hypodermic needle with traces of an unknown substance. Oh. So is that how that other guy stuffed me into the coffin before? Or, or I don't know, I mean, he attacked me with a hammer, didn't he? Like at the end of chapter 2? Chapter 4, Ancient Shadows. Alright. Well, here we go, then. I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must be just ahead. Okay. Um, the only thing I have in my inventory are my lens. And it doesn't seem like I can go back, and it doesn't seem like there's anything to see over here. So I guess we're just gonna head west for now. Okay, can we, can we view anything? Oh, that. The ancient castle of Pevensey rests in the distance. It was a garrison first built by the Romans, but was abandoned and has been a ruin ever since. Right? Let's just keep on walking. Hearing, hearing the owls. Okay. Now, now where are we at? There's a large iron bar latching the door. Oh, wait, I can remove it. It's quite odd that the door was latched from the outside. Okay, well, hang on a second. I can, I can go in here. I guess we'll go investigate first. Okay, it's way too dark. I don't think we're, we're gonna be able to go in here just, just yet. Or, or can we? Am, am I even moving around right now? Uh, no, I don't think I am moving anywhere. Okay, just, just get out of this room for now. It's, it's, it's way too dark. Okay. Maybe I'll try going back in there once I find a source of light, perhaps. Um, there's a bunch of places we can go. The house lights are on. Someone must be home. Uh, what about this, this, this gate over here? It's latched. I can't open it from this side. Okay. Never mind then. We'll try, uh, opening this door right here. See if anyone answers. No one's answering. Perhaps I should go inside anyway. I'll just tell the household that I'm an old friend come to visit. Alright, well, let's just go in then. Okay, well, the lights are, are off down here. A strange woman stares down at me, glaring with a silent reproach at my intrusion. Okay, we can go upstairs or we can... What happened? Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. Okay, well, hang on a moment. I want to check out the entire house first. A well-crafted grandfather clock, but it seems to be out of order. One of the hands is missing. Alright, that might be some sort of puzzle later on. That we have to solve, probably. It could be Pevensey Castle, but in this painting, the garrison is not in ruins. Okay, what about this this window over here? A couple of old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. There's another door over here. Fireplace. No, I can't click on any of that. Can open this door though. Is there anything in here? Anything of interest? Just some old bottles. Okay, I can't pick it up though. What is this? An oil lamp. Okay, I could probably use that. Very nice. Oh, and it's already on, so I could probably go into that that other place now. With uh with the latch on it that I that I somehow managed to take off. Um oh, okay, I'm on the other side of the gate now, actually. Some sort of trap door right here. The cellar door is locked. I need a key to open it. Alright, well can I open up this gate now? There we go. So now I have a I have a shortcut. A shortcut that I can I can take. Alrighty then. Um, I guess we can go back in here now that we have a lamp. Okay, yeah, it's, it's lighted now. Oh, jeez. Okay, this looks... This place is looking pretty grim. I don't really feel good about this. I don't have a good feeling. This paint looks like if it... Looks as if it had been broken from the inside. What is this? A statue of an angel with its wings spread. Its head is missing. A statue of an angel covered in mold. It's glancing at me with a sad gesture. And is that everything? Actually, hang on a second, there seems to be some sort of bottle. A jar of vitriol oil. I must be careful. It's a powerful acid. Well, I can take it, though. So, have to, probably have to use it on something. Alright. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything else of, of interest in this place. So we'll just, we'll just get out of here, then. Alright. So now we could probably... Go back in the house and... Maybe we can we can go upstairs just out of curiosity. Let me just click on absolutely everything just to make sure that there's you know something that I can use it on. Maybe we'll just go upstairs for now. Alright. 
Check out everything here. Silhouette of a man. It bears a strong resemblance to Alexander. The silhouette of a woman. Fine painting of the local Roman structures. They somehow seem more ancient in this depiction. And what is, what is this, like, vase right here? Oh, a figurine of an angel facing the wall. Um, we can go in that room, or we can continue walking down the hall. Maybe we'll go in here first, see what we can find. Oh, Alexander! Oh, okay, he's he's in here. Wait a second, what is this? A piece of paper? There's a scribbled annotation in this piece of paper. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being, incessantly. In vain do we waste our lives, craving to tear through. Zal... Zalalithel? What the heck? Okay, I don't know how you pronounce that. It's the curtain behind which the great wings beat. Inside its ancient mist inhabit the shadows of those who left. The table holds nothing but a box with the description Laudanum, to be taken in case of anxiety. It's empty. Okay, it's giving me some some reminders of uh, Amnesia Dark Descent here. Uh, what is What about this? This cuckoo clock is covered with dust. It seems to be missing an important piece. The bird. The face of the clock has been turned. Alright, um, doesn't seem like there's anything I can do there for the time being. A misty dock overlooks a gray ocean, gulls wheel overhead. Alright, let's talk to Alexander then. Alexander, it's me, Devitt. I'm sorry if I startled you. Is everything alright? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Are you hurt, maybe? Can you stand? He's staring blankly at some distant point, as if he's not heard my question at all. What's... What's going on? You told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. Can you tell me what's happening here? He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were there yours, or is there someone else in this house? For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he's unresponsive. Alexander, please say something! I don't know what to do! I don't understand. Just what happened to him? Alright, so he's probably not going to say anything else. Yeah, he looks miles away. Alright, I don't think there's really anything else of, of interest in this uh, this place. Just used a vir virtual oil on some things here. Anything that I possibly can doesn't look like it's, it's doing anything at all. Just out of curiosity. Um, yeah, this is, this is doing absolutely nothing. Okay, let's just keep going down here then, I guess. A portrait of an old man, maybe a ship captain. It looks like he's trying to guard this chest with his stern glare. Okay, this chest probably requires a key, though. Huge chest made of oak wood. Oh no, I can just open it. There's a large iron hook inside. I'll take this hook. There was a fragment of a diary under the hook. August 5th, 1887. I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures. I feel them stalking me in the darkness. I know it's not possible, but I can hear the crunches, the flapping wings, stone grinding on stone. They're frozen peroxy peroxisms? What the heck are these? These are big words that my brain can't comprehend. With what diabolical art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement, a tension. An impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let the mold devour them, and wasps make nests of their hollow hearts. Alrighty then. Kinda, kinda sounds like the weeping angels from Doctor Who. But, uh... Alright, more doors we can go through. What about this? This curtain right here. Oh, there's some blood. Looks like some kind of red tinted glass cover used to mask the lamp. It's completely shattered on the floor. Okay, never mind. I mean, this game is very, very low resolution, so I mean, it's very hard to tell what some of these objects are sometimes. A basin with a copper drain. Alright, and I can, I can turn the sink on. Okay, that does absolutely nothing. No, nothing of nothing of interest anyway. Uh, use the oil. This liquid should be applied on the plate. Oh, uh, wait. What, what plate are you talking about? A camera, tripod, uh, pictures hanging from a cord. They look as if they were improperly developed. You can hardly distinguish anything. Okay, what about this light? A lamp is hanging from the ceiling. Its bulb casts an intense white light. Oh, and I can I can do something with it. Well, I have a light bulb, but now I can't see anything. Alrighty then. Um, this painting, this image of a couple wearing rat masks at a festival, and what is this? A glass jar containing a yellow substance. The label reads cyanide. Oh, well, I can take it. Uh, okay. Not exactly comfortable holding cyanide with me, but 
It's a big book of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked and some articles are underlined. 3149 Collodion for photography. Collodion is the vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are united upon the surface of the glass and the sensitive coating produced. Many formula are published for this article to which great value is attached, some supposing that to its peculiar composition belong the principal causes of failure or success. This is only in a degree true. 3151 to develop a positive image. This is done by pouring upon the plate about one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution and only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Okay, I think it's telling me what I'm supposed to do. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in order to remove any excess of the chemicals. 3150, the causes of failure. Would almost require a chapter by themselves. A long experience convinces us that nine out of every ten failures occur from a want of care, the presence of dirt, negligence. One cannot be over nice, careful or cleanly, the best results always rewarding the most painstaking. If a mistake is made in the order specified in the formula, quickly flow clean water over the plaque and start again. Alright. An instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. And I think that's that's pretty much everything. Okay. So where exactly is is the uh the plate then? Uh or is it even in this room? Not sure. Uh Wait, what, what did this thing say again? Yeah, this liquid should be applied on the plate. But, uh, where, where, where is the plate? Or is it even, is it even in this room? Uh, I need something on which to apply the liquid. Okay, yeah, so the plate's, the plate's not here. I need to, I need to try and, and find it somewhere. I don't know if it's in, if it's in this room, though. Maybe it's not. It's, it's probably over, over in this one. I haven't been down here yet. Check out the fireplace. A large envelope of black felt covered in dust and ashes. It's labeled with a warning. Do not open it under white light. Okay, well I can take it. Getting a bunch of items now. A bust with his face turned around. A picture of an angel with a gentle face. It's a letter. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. There is no doubt that sometimes mere contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it would have never visited. Leafing through the grimoire and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I have been struck by a sudden epiphany, a radical but elegant method that I have decided to try. Forgive me for not providing any information about the method itself. As soon as I get def definite results, I will write to you immediately. I believe Fortune has truly smiled upon us today. And I don't know what this says right here. Uh, June 8th, 1887. This seems an invoice. May this document serve as a record of the payment made corresponding to the following work. The cuckoo clock mechanism has been modified to give the strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. In addition, a special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. Oh, alright. The shelf is lined with strange and complex books. Some titles include The Movements of Shadows, Preserving the Mind, and Lessons Beyond Nature. I cannot check this window or anything else in this room here. Um, alrighty then. Uh, I don't think there's anything else for us to see here. Yeah, I, that's that's pretty much everything, so I guess we'll we'll go back out. And, uh, see what the heck we have to do next. Actually, I don't think I noticed this room here before. A pantry with spices and ingredients. Okay, no, this this is not a room, but I haven't seen it before. It's a diary. This is the last thing written. The last pages have been ripped off. October 12, 1887. It's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupre has gotten ill, immersed in an everlasting stupor from which it seems he shall not return any time soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to, to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? October 13th, 1887. The clockmaker just left and he has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupre is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he had so insistently requested. In his state, time will not be a problem anymore. This looks like the diary of a member of Alexander's household. What happened to them? Alright, and uh, there's... Really doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. I'm trying to figure out where the heck I can... I can uh, open up this envelope. Where, where there's where there's no white light. Wait a minute, what is this? I couldn't light this up before because I didn't have my lamp. What the heck happened here? 
Old ruins lay by the path. They seem to be Roman in style. What what happened here? What is what is this? The corpse of a deer, its abdomen torn open. It looks recently dead. Yeah, so what exactly killed it then? What in the world? Okay. Strange things are already happening. Can I just leave, please? I'd rather not get involved in this. Okay, well, I guess I... <laughs> I guess I have to, to go back. Just out of curiosity, I could try using some items on it. No, the hook. Well, the light bulb? Really? Wait, what? Now the bulb is grossly covered in blood. Okay. I could use the light bulb on it, but what exactly is the point of that? Now I have, like, a red light bulb. Oh! I get it. Because if it's covered in blood, maybe it's gonna produce red light. That way I can open up the envelope, perhaps. Ah, uh, you are clever, Mr. Devitt. You are a very clever man. Alright, well, we'll go and see if, uh, if that works, possibly. Let's see if we can go and put the, uh, put the light bulb back in now. Okay, let's, let's try this out here. Hang on, I'm going past it. Yeah, here we go. This is working. Oh god, okay, that's, that's, that's kind of terrifying. Right, well, I can open this now, can I? Yeah, okay. And the oil, right? The oil has caused a strong acidic reaction. Okay, and then, then I do the, the cyanide, right? I've applied the liquids in the correct order. All that remains is to rinse the plate. So we'll go and rinse it then. Now what do we have? An image is appearing on the plate. It's a photograph of Anthony and Alexander. But wait a second. Oh, hi. How are you guys doing? You just popped out of the painting. Or, or that, uh, that image, uh, wait. Was I supposed to do something? Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to. Excuse me, you just, you just stay in that image, please? Stop doing crazy things? The image is back in the frame. Well, I got the photo now. Um, I'm not sure if, if uh, anything else changed. I think that, that piece of paper was already on the ground. Um, alright, well, crazy things are already happening. Um, did, did Alexander change at all? Maybe I can show him this photo, perhaps, and maybe he'll remember something. Alexander, do you recognize this photograph? Take a look. Is it you and your... It's, it, it is you and our old friend Anthony, and there is someone else blurred in the background. Who is the third figure? Does he mean something to you? Maybe the third figure is me. What, what was that? The bird awaits. A piece of clockwork. A hand. Oh, wait, the bird awaits. Why is he just saying the bird awaits now? Okay, maybe I can put that that hand back in this grandfather clock right here, right? Because the piece is missing. So can I put... Oh, can I not do anything with the clock hand? Hang on, let me try this. I put the clock hand in its place. I only need to set the clock to the correct time. Well, it looked like the time on the other clock was set to 11.15 when I looked at it sideways. So, let me try doing that. No, 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 not that way. Hang on a second. There we go. Let's try and, and do this here. Okay, wait. Why am I just moving the other one? Oh, wait. I have to, like, constantly click on this. Okay. I'm gonna try this out here. I assume I have to sync them up, right? Let's try this out. Uh, did, did that do anything at all? I have no idea if it did or not. Uh, maybe that's not the, the correct way. Or maybe I need to pull the switch on the other one. Hang on a second. Let me let me just go and see. I'm I'm starting to figure things out here, guys. Hang on. Don't don't stop this train of rolling just yet. Um, let's wait. Where where am I even going? I'm get, I'm getting lost again. For goodness sakes, it, it was back over it was back over here, right? Yeah, it was in, it was in Alexander's room. I went like right past it. Yeah, right over right over here. Well, there is the bird. Um, oh wait a second. Uh, okay, well, hang on. Oh, this moved back in place now. Two... Thirty? Yeah, that's what it says now. The face of the clock has been turned. Okay, hang on a second. Um... Oh, wait. That document I found before said that the grandfather clock was modified to strike at quarter past six in the afternoon, right? So, hang on a second. Maybe that's what I have to set it to. Hang on a moment. Let me, let me try this out here. I really have to just click on this. I have to click on this multiple times for some reason. I don't understand why I can just I can just move these hands manually, like move move the small hand to where I want it to go and the large hand, right? Quarter past six in the afternoon. 
Okay. I, well, I was thinking this is this is quarter past six, right? Okay. This is still not working. I don't think. Oh, I think I heard something. What was that? A noise upstairs, like some kind of broken mechanism. Okay. Yeah. So it seems like I had to set the time to three o'clock in order to make that work. One thing I noticed about the the clock upstairs was that because the uh, the face was turned, it seems like the other clock was about three hours and fifteen minutes uh, ahead of the one downstairs. So I decided to set the uh, bottom one to three o'clock, and it seems like it seems like that worked. Let's let's just go and see what's going on over here. Something something made a noise. The face of the clock has been turned. Um. Yeah, so, I mean, this this says 6.15 now. Do you do you say anything new, Alexander? No, you, you say absolutely nothing. Um, alrighty then. So maybe I have to try and find the bird first, and then maybe this, this mechanism will actually work, but at least I got the time correct now. Although this liquid is highly corrosive, the hatch lock is in very good condition as to be destroyed. Okay. So... The vitriol oil does something when I when I click on this, but I guess I I need something else because it it still doesn't doesn't work though. So that's that's not it. Well, it does look like I can I can keep walking to the left. So let's see what we can find here. Looks like there's a well, an ancient stone well. A rope hangs inside, disappearing into the darkness below. Oh, and can I can I can I pick it up? The rope is broken. I'll keep this end. Okay, well, I have a rope now. Um, what is, what is this? Is a tombstone right here. Oh, jeez, okay. I'm having a flashback. It looks like someone was buried here. I can't dig with my bare hands. Okay. Um, do, do any of the items... Can I use any of the items I have right now? Just, just out of, out of curiosity. Well, I don't know why I'd, I'd be able to use the photo, not the rope. All right. I'll be able to dig that up maybe maybe later on. The bucket has dropped to the bottom. Actually, hang on. There's something in the background over here. Oh wait, no. This is just part of the tombstone. Okay, there was like a little, like a little a little pile of something over there. At least it's what I thought it was. I think it's actually just a bush. Um, can I combine this with something? Oh yeah, I can. I can combine it. I can combine the rope with the hook. So does this do anything? Could I try and get that uh, bucket? Okay, yeah. It looks like I looks like I can bring the bucket up here. There we go. Within the mud and within the mud and dirt inside the bucket, there was a small bird of brass. Okay, that's that's the bird I needed. Uh, strangely, strangely enough, there doesn't seem to be any water in the well. All right, well I found the bird, so now I just need to go back inside and place it in that uh, the other grandfather clock, and then I think we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. Let's just make my way back uh, upstairs very quickly. Go back in here. All right, let's see if the, if this works here. Yes, I know it's a brass bird. Put it in. The bird fits perfectly. All right. So now that the bird is in there, maybe I have to go and uh, ring the grandfather clock again, and then maybe it'll it'll do something. So let's let's go and try this out right here, and switch on. The sound came from upstairs. All right. Well, it's cuckooing now, so this probably caused Alexander to do something crazy. Okay, yeah, he is doing something crazy now. What what the heck is going on? The bird has burst out at the stroke, now its beak is open. Okay, well I can take it. Uh, the clock mechanism's definitely broken. Alright, so there's nothing else we can do with that clock now. Have anything more to say? He's having some kind of seizure. He's trembling of pure horror. There was a key inside the bird. Oh, okay. Well, I have a key now. I can't, I can't use the key on, on him. Um, well I don't think there's anything I can really do to help out Alexander for now. So, I'll just, I'll just have to, uh, continue onwards. It's probably the key to the cellar door, so I can go and try that out. See if that's the correct key. Okay, it looks like it is. Yep, there we go. We can go inside now. Right, what do we have? A dusty carpet of Asian origin. Okay, we have mold and dust covered the portrait, making the subject indistinguishable. Okay, uh, well, there was, there was something I was able to click on. Hang on a second. This piece of fine furniture has several drawers. Inside this one, there's a gardener's shovel. Alright. The cabinet has a large stain of mold due to the high humidity of this atmosphere. Okay, is there anything else? 
There are remains of a Roman mosaic behind this wall. I can't distinguish anything clearly. Alright, let's, let's just keep exploring. Okay, there's more angel statues. An ancient statue in poor conditions. Uh, just any anything else? What is this? Some sort of crawl space right here. What we got going on? A book written in a language unknown to me. There's a scrawled annotation written in English on one of the margins. This and no other is the function of the serum we manufactured at the boarding school when we were young. It is something that we didn't understand by that time. To accompany the mind to the proscenium of the big theater, and there, help us to look behind the curtain that separates the world of men from and the land of truth. To look, I say, if anything apprehend an image of what lives there, just that. Will the hoopo? What the heck? Is that even a real word? Will the hoopo allow us to raise the curtain enough to walk off the stage and go beyond? Okay, a huge cage full of leftovers and dirt. Animals have been captive here. Jars and test tubes, everything soaked in chemical residues, and the air is filled with the smell of vinegar. Innumerable jars full of murky objects suspended in formaldehyde. Alright, none of these I can I can pick up, it seems. What else can I can I find in this bizarre place? A bunch of dust-covered bakers with repulsive liquids. A few of them have developed fungi inside. Unlabeled bottles and lab equipment. Alright. So, doesn't seem to be anything else of interest here. So, I guess we'll just leave for now, because I can't think of anything else to do. Now that I have the gardener's shovel, I can probably dig up that uh, grave now. So, we'll uh, go and do that here. The only thing I don't really like about uh, holding the lamp is that Devitt moves so slowly when he when he's holding that lamp in, in the, the dark areas, but whatever. We made it back out. Gonna go in and use this shovel here now. See if we can dig this up. See what we can find. Gonna raid, raid a grave. Oh, okay. And what, what, was, what was inside? Okay, there's a lock. The lock is very rusted, almost shattered. The lock still resists. I can't open it by hand. Probably use the oil? Oh, I was the one. Oh, well, what? Hello? What the heck is that thing you're holding? The skeletal fingers of the creature are clutching a rolled up canvas. Okay. I think Devitt's having flashbacks to after we got buried at the end of chapter 2. Like, it's it's what happened afterwards. The nuns found us. It's a map of the stars. Okay. Is there anything else? The remains of a humanoid body, but with a grotesque animal aspect. Maybe a small ape? It has a collar with some engraved words on it. Old Mike. Besides the corpse, there's a paper leaf. Dear Alexander, undoubtedly your methods are definitely stronger than mine. How do you manage to get results with such alacrity? On another note, my epiphany with the treatise of alchemy was not accidental. When examining the text closer, I've come to the conclusion that for a time, Raimundus Lully sought the same thing as we did. In his account, he describes a formula that he calls hoopo. Yes, like the legendary bird. It closely resembles the serum with which we have worked so far, except for minor differences. It's a pity what you will it's a pity what you tell me about old Mike. I hope he gets better soon. July second, eighteen eighty seven, and once again with that thing that I that I cannot read. Alright, and I can't I can't take it with me. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to see here, so I guess we'll just go for now. Uh what about the canvas? It's some kind of navigation map. Several constellations are marked. Deneb, Vega, Altair. The Summer Triangle. Okay, that's gotta be... Oh god, that sounds like Alexander. Oh boy. Um, I better, I better run after him. I better go and see what the heck is up. Sounds like he's, he's getting murdered or something. Hang on a second. I'm coming, Alexander. Don't you worry, buddy. What the heck's going on? Alexander! Okay, there's something in his wheelchair, I think. Oh, oh jeez, what the heck happened? The curtains opened up. Okay. Don't you be doing that on me, game. Some diary pages on the wheelchair. The paper is ripped apart as if someone had stripped it off the book hastily. October 31st, 1891. I'm writing this in the light of my desk lamp, hoping to be able to remember it all when the birds finally sing and the sun blessing dispels the dark shadows of the mind. During the whole afternoon, a strong wind hit the valley, so strong that it's cracked a larger branch of the old oak in the garden. I find it hard to get sleep during these nights, so I read a lot while accompanying while accompanying, accompanying the professor. Holy crap. I don't really know when exactly I fell asleep. I was awakened by the chill of the night, which was seeping through the open window. I looked outside and I saw him. The professor was miraculously awake. 
What was my joy to see him standing on the balcony, watching the valley with a true serene expression, enjoying the fresh and calm air right after the storm. I felt that a blessing had fallen upon this house, and, for a moment, I felt immensely happy. I stared at him for a while without saying anything, being afraid of dispelling a vision I hadn't believed possible for a long time. And then in the midst of the silence, I heard a sound that froze me in my seat and snatched all my calmness with such a terrible chill that I will never forget. A loud noise beside me, low-pitched as the drag of a slab, Mr. Alexander's snore, who was pleasantly sleeping in his bed. I've already made the decision. I'll leave this house. Alright. Well, let's go out here and see what the heck happened. We could probably- oh, hi. We could probably use the canvas here. What do you have? A statue. It's holding something. It's a lens mounted in a metal ring. Got a crystal. Okay. Can I use the canvas here? Some kind of navigation map. Several constellations are marked. Uh, okay, I can't- I can't use the- the crystal on that. Starlight brings some brightness to the forest. Okay, so... I can't use that exactly. There's some strange symbols marked in the surface of the crystal, okay. Just out of curiosity, okay, I can't use it on, on any of these items, it seems. Alright, well, I've got this now. Got the, uh, the crystal, but I don't exactly know what, uh, what I could, I could, I could use it on. But we'll go, we'll go and figure this mystery out together. Wait a second, did it suddenly get very windy out here? Like, I don't remember, I don't remember hearing wind here before. Um... Yeah, so, I already- I already checked this here, though, so... I'm just using the crystal on everything I possibly can. I can't use it on- on this part of the- the night sky, though. Alright, I'm thinking that maybe... I could go back down into, uh... Cellar, perhaps? Maybe- maybe it'll be of- of use to me there. Oh! Okay, something definitely changed down here. That was a voice. What was that? Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to go down here. I'm too afraid. Well, actually, I'm not afraid at all, but... Bad, bad things are probably gonna happen if I, if I keep walking down here. Um, so maybe we could go back... This place? Actually, hang on a second. Did I, did I check this before? Oh, wait, maybe I did already. Okay, hang on. Sounded like it was coming from in here. Um... Okay... Can't use the crystal on any of these things. Okay, hang on a second. I heard a voice coming from down over here, I think. And, uh... Okay, wait a second. What is what is that thing up in, in the corner right there? Uh... What, what is this? Oh. Okay, there's there's a telescope. Uh, some, some sort of room here. There's a mountain of compacted snow. And there's just a hole down here. There's a dark hole in the center of this room. It delves into the depths of the earth far beyond what I can see. Okay, what the heck is this room? I just randomly stumbled upon a wooden secretary desk beautifully carved. The flip top has no knob or lock, just some strange symbols. Oh wait, crystal. Oh, this doesn't work to open the furniture, never mind. Uh, what is this? Uh... Okay. The symbols change. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to, how to open that right now. Uh, let's read this piece of paper, an open envelope with a letter inside it. Dear Alexander, I'm terribly sorry about old Mike. Will you put him to rest in his favorite place? After weeks of unsuccessful attempts, I've managed to distill the alchemical formula based on the notes you sent me. Certainly you're a master of this craft. The subject reacted to the serum as usual, rapidly entering into a state of waking sleep. Suddenly the convulsion stopped, and since then he's not responding to any kind of stimulation. He has remained in this state for many days. My diagnosis is brain dead. Which should be our next step, Alexander? I'm worried this could be the end of our research. August 23rd, 1887. Alright. Um, well, I guess we can look at the telescope now. Alright, so there is, uh, the night sky. Okay, wait, what, what exactly am I doing here? Okay, I can click on the stars? No, I think this is not the triangle I'm looking for. Oh, wait. All, all of these stars I can actually click on. Okay, hang on a second. I, I gotta go back here for a moment, because I have to look at the canvas. Vega, Deneb, Altair. Alright, I think I th I think I see this. Okay, I think that's that's Deneb, right? Um, yeah, I'm sorry, my my short-term memory is, is terrible, guys, but... Yeah, I think the... Like, the leftmost... 
Yeah, I think that one was was right. There's like three stars right there in the middle. That's Altair. Then I think the one at the uh, top right is Vega. Okay, let me let me try this. An arrow window in the ceiling of the vault. This right here. Then I think this. But then where's where's Altair though? I don't really know. Oh wait, I got it. All right. Now what is what is going on? They all turn purple. Correct. This is the Summer Triangle. Alright. What exactly is is the point of that though? I, I don't I don't get it. Hang on a moment. What about these symbols right here? Maybe look through with the crystal? The crystal fits perfectly in the telescope. Oh. Okay, I think it's actually telling me. Okay, I think I got one of the symbols right. Then that symbol. Oh, okay, I think these are all, like, the zodiac signs, because I know that this one right here is Cancer. Oh, okay. I see. I see what it's telling me. Hang on a second. I already have one of these in the correct place. Yeah, this one, this one right here. And then I think, uh, no, I don't think it's, it's that symbol. I think it's this one. And then, uh, what, what was, what was the other one again? No, it wasn't, it wasn't Cancer. Uh... Hang, hang on a second. What what was the other one? Okay, it was it was that one with uh, the lines going through them, and yeah, the lines on this one are just are just going straight. So, hang on a second. I don't have have the correct one on the bottom. There we go. Now I have the correct one. There, we got it. Open it up. There's a small cabinet with two slots for syringes. Only one of them remains. Okay, we'll take one. The voice again. It comes from the bottom of the pit. Uh. Can we, can we go down into the pit? Yeah, we can. Oh, Alexander. Wait, this is, this is the cutscene from the beginning of the game. Or the beginning of this chapter, I should say. Okay. There's a chair in the middle of the room. A, a variety of surgical instruments and some jars with chemicals in them. Let's go talk to him. Alexander. Okay, he's not, he's not talking. Syringe? This is what you asked me to search for, is it not, Alexander? Am I right? The last door. Roll credits. <laughs> Zalath... Zalathel. The last door. We can cross together. What should I do? I'm waiting for you, here, in the mist. It's nearby. I can hear it. What is nearby? What do you hear? I hear the beating of its wings. It knows we are afraid. I am ready. Sit down. Okay, this is what's happening at the, uh beginning of the game, right? This this is the same sequence, or... I don't know what's happening right now. What is going on? I was controlling Alexander at the beginning, though. Can I can I not get out? No, I can't. Here, take the syringe. Yeah, this is the same sequence from the beginning of the chapter. Oh, God. Please, no. Oh. Just put that in my neck. Oh, God, what is happening? Symbols? Spiders? All sorts of things? going on? What even just happened? Do you think that we will find any clue here about Devitt's whereabouts? Was I just murdered? I don't even know what happened. The police must have taken almost everything, but we have no other leads to pursue. Hopefully they've overlooked something. Okay, there's just another cutscene here. What about this room? There's a sealed letter between this table and the wall. It looks like Herr Beechworth never sent it. I think it is best that you read it. Dearest Alexander, please, you must reflect on this. We do not yet know what we are dealing with. If you were to open the door, it may stay that way. An open way for whatever lives in the other side. Wait, is that it? Is that, is that the end of the chapter? What is going on? I'm in the mist. Okay, I can walk. Why did the, the last door logo just appear? Is this the end? Have we have we made it? Have we reached the end of the game? All I can do is walk. I don't have any items. What is happening right now? Alexander? Please, could you explain to me? What is what the heck is even going on right now? No, don't don't run away from me, please. Okay, this is just happening automatically. Did we get to the last door? I don't even what is going on? There's a second season! Oh! 
So this isn't the end of the last door then. Oh, that okay, that's just the the end of the first season. Oh, so there's more of this. It doesn't end here. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Hang on a second. I need to I need to think about this for a moment because I have no clue what just happened. Okay, so what happened at the end was basically what happened at the beginning of the chapter. That was Alexander injecting me with a syringe. Well, that's not exactly what the uh, beginning of the game showed, but it was the exact same room. And he put a syringe in my neck, and then I got transported to, to some place, just covered in mist. Alexander was there, and I followed him into the mist. I guess he's leading me to the last door? I... I don't even know. I, I'm not sure what the heck just happened. Like, that was... That was... A cliffhanger ending if I've ever seen it. And, yeah, I guess this isn't the finale of The Last Door then, guys, because there's actually more of this. There's a second season. Okay, guys, so I just went and checked, and as it turns out, the entire second season is available on Steam. As a matter of fact, it was actually released just, uh, last year. But the second season is not free. It costs $10 on Steam. It says I can play online, but I think it says that I need to actually purchase the second season of The Last Door if I want to play it online. So, yeah, I guess I guess there's more to this, guys, so it's not over just yet. So, I guess there's gonna be more videos of The Last Door then, guys, because there's a second season. So I guess in that case, I'll go and, uh, purchase the second season on Steam and keep keep on playing this because I'm I'm really intrigued now like I actually want to know what the heck happened to Devitt because that was such a cliffhanger ending well I guess that does it for the first season of the last door guys so I really do hope you guys uh enjoyed the uh, very first season of the game but yeah there's definitely gonna be more of this I I definitely want to play the second season now I really want to know what the heck happened to Devitt because I don't even know what happened in that ending. You know, I, I really gotta hand it to the developers, like, even though this game is very simple, both gameplay-wise and graphics-wise, this game has an amazing narrative. A way better narrative than most AAA titles nowadays, I would say. Like, this is, this is really impressive, especially for a game that was apparently made in Flash, because every time I, I right-click on this, it says about Adobe Flash Player, so... I assume this is a Flash game. Like, after playing this, I am extremely disappointed that I overlooked chapters 3 and 4 for so long. Like, this is, this is incredible. Like, I, I really do want to play the second season now. I mean, obviously I am going to wait, uh, maybe a couple weeks before getting into the second season just to give you guys a break from this game and give, give me a break. Well, mainly just to have some variety on the channel because I don't really want to, uh, spam videos of this game. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I'd... I'd rather give you guys some variety, so I'll probably wait a couple weeks before I get started on the second season of The Last Door, but yeah, that was, that was awesome. That was an awesome first season. You guys can definitely expect videos of, uh, season two of The Last Door, and who knows, maybe they'll even create a, a season three. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't end there. Maybe there's a third season in development right now. I have no idea, but this is... It's, it's getting pretty good now, guys. I can't wait to see what happens in the second season. I really can't. Anyway, I am going to leave this video here for now, so if you guys want to play the final chapter of the first season of The Last Door, not the final chapter of the entire game, the link is in the description, and within the next couple of weeks or so, I'm going to get started on season two. I really cannot wait. We're going to finally find out what happened to, to Devin and Alexander, because... I, I just have no clue what even happened in that ending. Like, that ending just completely threw me for a loop there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!